Yo guys, what's going on? This is Shiftmaster. Welcome to part six of Let's Build Victorian House. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on furnishing the uh, first floor of the house. So without further ado, I'm actually going to start with the kitchen. And the first thing I need to do in the kitchen is change the floor. I did not mean to throw that out. But uh, let's see, replace. Uh, let's start with the base of a stone tile. I just got to do a, like an alternating design. And I don't know, I have, actually haven't tried like doing like a non-alternating tile design. I don't even know how that might look. But I might look into like doing something like that, being a little bit more creative. But I'm not really that creative, so I don't know how that would work. And then I'll just do like cobblestone to give it some texture. So this is like a basic, a basic tile. I think an even more basic tile uh, combination would be like stone and oh crap, that's not right. Stone and. Um, like double slabs and that'll probably be even more basic than what I'm doing. Nope, that's not right. Okay. I need a light. Okay, so as far as the kitchen layout, I think I wanna do like let's use some light cabinetry. I have a sink right there. Um stove and then do a, like a pantry and fridge on this wall like that yeah that'll work and then I can put like a little sitting area over here and that'll be cool there we go alright so get a sink um, I actually want to do a hooper hopper sink and then I'll get a stove so with a hood gotta get this to use for like the cooktop Actually, I've seen somewhere, maybe I can use a trap door instead. Will an anvil fall on a trap door? Let's see. Anvil fall. Nope, we're good. Okay. So I can use that. And actually, I wish I was able to change the color of trap doors because it will be cool if I can change that to like black or silver or something because then it will like match and it will actually look like a stove. But I don't know. This It will work for now, I guess. Um, and then fridge is right there, which is huge. Fridge is gonna be so big. Do that. There we go. All right, and then for countertops, I'll just do a snow there, and then put some stuff on the counter, and then like flower like that. Wait a minute. Okay, and then I need that with, okay, I get an item frame for, I'm going to use this for the, uh, like the hardware, like for instance, like that. There we go. Then... There. So we got all the hardware on. Um, I'm just going to beef up this light really quick. Do something like that so it looks a little better. I need to add a light in here because it's really dark. Alright, and then I want to add some chests back here for a little bit of storage. Alright, and add a little painting for why not. There we go. Okay, and then over here, I add another painting. That's too big. And then put a little plant. Where? Oh, right there. Like that. And then I'll put like a little table and chairs right here. Like that. 
put a little piece of fence, put a one of those on top, pressure plate, put a little painting next to it. No, I can't do that. Okay. All right, and then na -na 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 that for chair handles or chair arms, for so they can actually have arms on the chair. And actually, this looks pretty cool, at least for like a kitchen. Uh, I'll put a little buffet right here, like a little table, put some stuff on it. All right, and then we'll put a person's head because this guy is weird. Whoever lives here, I don't live here. Um, really, what I can do is actually there. So now you have like a self-portrait of something. Actually, honestly, I like the way the heads are in the um, in the default texture pack because the heads are straight instead of like angled like that. So it look, I think it looks better in my opinion in the default texture pack. All right, and then I have to put a light. Well, first off, let me put a toilet over here. Put a sink on that wall. Like so. Then have a light. Like that. Wait a minute, there's a sign in here. Oh, come on. <laughs> there's like smiley faces everywhere. I guess I'll just be randomly finding. trap door all right and then we're gonna use this as like a toilet paper stand and then get toilet paper put it right there like that that looks cool so you got a half bathroom all right and then we're gonna move on to in here let's see what am I gonna put in here it's like big doors on every single side so um Hmm. What am I gonna do? I think I just use the fireplace as a. Actually, no. This could be the dining room. Yeah, here we go. I can use this as a dining room. All right. Um, I'm looking for this. Here we go. All right, and then. Honestly, that's what I really wanted. All right. Some chairs, so you can have fancy, fancy, fancy chairs. Using the doors. All right, and then we'll use signs, so you can have like some fancy arms on the chairs. At least on the ones on the end. We'll do that for the ones on the end. All right, and then what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do some magic. So normally, as you know, I can't place a pot on there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some very simple world edit magic. So do replace, I don't, just press one for now. Um, hit that so it switches to the flower pot. There you go, now you have a flower pot right there. You can put whatever you want in it. There, so that actually acts as a cool centerpiece. And I'll put a little rug under the table. There we go. All right, so that's cool. Um, we'll put some more up here. And put a little painting in the middle of that. All right, and then I'll put some plants on either side. I, I love the sound this makes. I'm trying to do like a ding 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 ding. <laughs> Sounds like a fork and a garbage disposal. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to beat around the bush. There's this hilarious video on YouTube, and I'm going to uh, find it, put it in my description to the video I'm talking about. And it is hilarious. I don't know why I found it so funny. I found it on Reddit and it was so funny. I want to find it. I'll put it in the description so you guys can laugh at it as well. Man, I just I just thought it was hilarious. It's basically like these two guys and they're dancing. 
you know, I don't really want to like give out too much because I'm terrible at telling stories. But just look at my description, watch it. At least as if you've made it this far in the video, watch it and you'll laugh. Okay, what am I missing? I don't know. Put another painting here. Oh yeah, same one. There we go. Do that. Okay, so the dining room. And we got this living room here. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a TV. I'm trying to think what's the best way to make this TV. I'm not gonna be able to make like a cool modern one, unfortunately, but and I actually really hate to see like these really stupid wide, super wide screen ones. I'd rather just make like a really big screen TV. Actually what I could do. Do like a cool Alright, and then Oh dang, you know what? I won't be able to do that. Actually I wonder I wonder why you can't like do like like I'll be able to do it like across there, but whatever. Alright. Yeah, I can't do that, so I just have like some other kind of material. It was kind of weird, but whatever. All right, so you got TV. I'm gonna put a couch. That too big. A little bit. right there a little rug like that great there we go um let me see what else can I put in here put a little painting here there then I'll put a, another self portrait of whoever lives here or whoever would end up living here. They're actually uh, a long time ago, way before I joined Walk. I used to, or World Corrales, I used to play on a survival server called Sin Gaming. Um, for those who recognize that, Woot. Uh, anyway, um, I used to play there, and um, over time, I I was able to build my reputation up to being one of the best best builders on there. And what I used to do to make some money. I used to build houses for people where I'll just like buy lots in cities, build houses on them and sell them for profit. And it was actually a very lucrative business. I ended up becoming one of the richest people in that game. Um, only second it to somebody else who was like kept all his like, I guess, like factions money in his one account, which was strange. So it's like every time I think I will beat him, he'll end up being like five to ten thousand like in game money over me. And I'm like, God dang it. Like back then, um, all the money, like the money was backed by gold. So for every gold ingot found, that would be one money. So like, for example, I had like 11,000 gold ingots worth of money in my account. And he will always have like 17 or 18,000. And every time I make more, all of a sudden he's like 5,000 more than he had last time. And I'm like, come on. Okay. So it is a living room. Well, at least like the TV room. Get. Is that another sign? Yes. <laughs> They're everywhere in this house. And I can do like a little like runner mat thing. Like so. Just to be right there. There we go. I don't know. I'll put a little chest right here. There. I'm I'm a big believer in like simple and like simplistic kind of furnishing. So 
just having something like this is actually pretty good to me. Like if I walked in here and I wouldn't be able to walk anywhere because of so much furniture, like it was just ugh, not good. Uh, yeah, I'd do that. I don't know, something like that. And then actually, what I could do. Mm -hmm. Let me think. No, I can't do that. Wait, maybe. I'm trying to think, because I was thinking maybe I can put like a TV on this wall. But I was thinking I could mount it, but I can't mount it over the window. I look weird. I can't do that. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. And I'm trying to show, I, I like to show off the slash slash fast. Yeah, so. Turn slash slash fast on and set that to 78. There we go. plants and we're almost done actually so only a couple more minutes of you hearing me drone on and on about pointless things and I'll let you guys go um, I'll probably just use the fireplace as a focal point again uh, there we go let's have it all matching so why not There we go. I don't know. It, it's kind of modern, but at the same time, not really. It's it's just it's my style. It's what I like. So I'm not really going for modern or not modern. It's just like you know, it's just what I think looks cool. And I, and honestly, that's what you guys should do. You shouldn't be trying to go for a specific style. You should just go for what you think looks cool. Because all the time, when you when you when you try and do a certain style, you might fail at it because. In all honesty, you probably don't really know how that style works. And I've seen a lot of people call things minimalism and Victorian and craftsman and Italianate. And in all reality, they don't even really know what minimalism or Victorian or Italianate really works or how it really looks. So just just do what just do what you think looks cool. Don't even try and go for a certain style. And here I am talking about this is a Victorian house. I mean it is, but still. Anyway, so here we go. I got the living room. And that actually concludes the first floor now. I'll uh, cut the video off right here. Next uh, next episode, I'll do the upstairs. But real quick, I'm, I'll just uh, show you guys around what I've done. So here's the living room. Here's the dining room. The like TV viewing area, TV room, den, maybe, if you will. Um, got a little walkway. Here's like a side door you can get out. Here's a half bathroom in here kitchen in here and then this is a stairway to go upstairs all right so that concludes this episode like comment subscribe all that jazz and i will see you guys in the next episode stay tuned